Welcome, Nobunaga's Ambition Taishi fans, to Nobunaga's Ambition Taishi with Omnius Prime. Episode 6, Officer Editor and Sun Tzu. Before, this is the main screen here, and before I go into the officer editing, I just want to go in and, and look at the new game. Now, as you can see, I have cleared uh, the Battle of Kawanakajima, uh, the, the April 1560 start. I did it as um, Nobunaga Oda, and if you look at the bottom down by the middle, you'll see the 1560.5, the Battle of Okehazama which I showed you in um, 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 a prior video, okay? And I haven't bought any of the um, DLCs yet. You get to hear 1615, A Time of Heroes, okay? So um, um, you have several starting points and, and obviously tons of clans to choose from. Now, over here, when I first played this battle here this scenario settings was not active it was not there okay so it was basically a preset to, to like normal and 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 uh, most of this stuff is, is kind of um, you can you know difficulty level um, you can do lifespans you could turn it off and they're like you know immortal uh, battle deaths on or off, uh, events on or off, quests on or off, tutorial, I have set to off. The first time around, it's locked on. Um, you can have maiden officers on or off, and fictional maidens on or off, and officer names common or true, okay? And some of these characters had m several names, okay, as they would rename themselves. So now, let's get into what I really want to talk about, which is um, the officer editing, okay? So, I've created, as you can see up here in the top in the center, 10 custom officers, and they're a uh, little to the left, they're 10, they're, they're active. I could even edit historical officers, okay? And I'm not too sure what I can do, but right now, what I'm looking at is, um, let's go into Create and Change. And as you can see, I've got 10 uh, created officers. And I'll pick uh, Nobunaga Oda. You can see everybody starts off with 99, you know, for the leadership, valor, intelligence, political, and um, formality. Okay. And now you have, like, different um, um, characters. Now, as you can see, everybody's <laughs> daddy is Takahisa Shimazu, the current leader of the clan, okay? And they're all born in 1530, you know, all 10 of them. So I guess mommy must have popped out a, a set of quintuplets in uh, January, and then about 10 months later popped out a second set of quintuplets in uh, November, December. But... Um, this was the minimum starting date to get them to be able to, to start in the 1545 um, um, scenario, okay? They even, you can even set the, the voice quality and stuff. So I kind of tried to, you know, get a mix of voices. So let's go into Nobunaga Shimazu, who's patterned after Nobunaga Oda, okay? So first of all, Faces. So you got a whole bunch you can pick from. I happen to pick this one for Nobunaga. I kind of went with a lot of uh, like younger faces at first. Okay. The name. You can type in the name. What I decided to do um, um, was make the names at least Japanese sounding. And uh, so what I did was basically everybody is a Shimazu. And then I just picked um, um, 10 of my favorite kind of leaders um, um, from um, this period. Now, like here, you can have resolve, okay? Like uh, Nobunaga Oda, he has um, armed unification, okay? If you notice down here, Dragons Rise. Now, remember, uh, what was it, last episode that I showed you Dragoons, okay? 
and then you can see like you know there's your your first effect the the dragoons and uh, what it does so i basically each of the 10 has a different um um resolve i don't think there'll be daimyos character okay so you can select male or female your voice quality ideals um, as you can see clan talent profit justice ambition so I, I kind of you know mixed it up with the ideals for everybody the tiers s is the best even though it's at the bottom uh, and then rebellious I kind of set it way down to two just figuring, yeah, I don't want these guys being rebellious. So, yeah, that was that. Okay, and now we're going to look at abilities. Okay, over here you can see I just set everybody to 99. Now, this is a really important here. We're like, say, here on the supply line master. Okay, so here are qualities. Like siege master, siege adept, fortification master or adept. Um, supply talent or supply line master okay I tended to like um, um, for uh, no not fortification siege master and supply line master for everybody okay and then so and then I would either make them a musket arm I also like to give them lightning speed uh, usually but sometimes I might have one that's a ninja scout and and uh, uh, and I also like greater morale for, for everybody. Units have more morale during battles. Remember, uh, morale is really important. Um, there's even a civilian kind of um, um, qualities, like new field development for the effect of land clearing increases, agriculture knowledge, um, various things like that, trade zone management, investing in trade zones costs less. So there's a variety of um, 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 possible qualities that you can give to um, each leader, each officer. Okay, like construction genius where cost of repairing bases is reduced. That's not bad. I like this one, fickle. Gain the advantage in negotiations with larger clans. <laughs> so, so as you can see, I like supply line master, siege master. He's got musket arms instead of cavalry, greater morale, lightning speed, and I chose supervisor, which uh, it gives. Uh, what's the supervisor do? Political power increases. So. Um, so everything is kind of like you know a little bit most I, I, a couple of basics and and then some some little differences since he's a musket boy i went with triple uh volley okay so you have some some basic tactics here that you can um um, um choose for for leaders okay like red armor when at the advantage boom of your fame to intimidate enemies then attack uh there's some where it's kind of like manly valor when at the disadvantage, lure in enemies and powerfully endure. Um, my other one was kind of like tactician, I, I, and I really don't use it. Uh, take aim, that helps with muskets. Uh, triple volley makes the, the, that's the big musket thing. So, so immobilize enemy with a musket barrage while improving defense. So that's like a... a a really good that's my, what I consider the best for um, musket units okay um, all kinds of different um, tactics and then I liked on tactic two these are kind of a little bit different than the ta the first tactic so so here what I ended up liking was victory cry when both forces are fighting for advantage in battle let out a victory cry to crush any m morale because remember uh, morale wins battles okay morale wins battles so that's why I like the victory cry lure propagation for plan one okay bait unit provokes the unit enemy once every few turns three turns drawing in enemy units around them but you've got all kinds of things woodpecker basically sends it you have to send a unit kind of like off the edge of the map 
and then it'll come back onto the, the map a few turns later uh, behind enemy lines which uh, eh, you know that's just too kind of Mickey Mouse or you have like a ten sided ten side ambush you know a bait unit draws in the enemy while multiple ambush units attack from outside their vision yeah right or five color brigade fight around an axis of five colored units each colored to designate their role or like one will be better on defense one on offense uh, one movement it, it just wasn't you know it, it's just too silly to try to figure out um, um, how to really use those uh, well so I just went with lure provocation and tactic Tactician Skirmish, even though I'm not going to use Tactician Skirmish. So, as, and then as you can see, this screen basically summarizes uh, the leader with all the capabilities and stuff. And, um, and as you've noticed in the um, tactics, there is no Dragoons. Okay, no Dragoons. Or in the, the um, um, what is it, the uh, plans, yeah. So the tactics, yeah, uh, there's no Dragoons. Only get Dragoons when you have, like here with Masamune Shimazo, as you can see, I used the um, um, Dragon's Rise Resolve, okay. So here I patterned this character after uh, uh, the historical one. You know, there's Kenshin Shimazu, the you, you know the Kenshin um, Usugi, who's the guard of war. Motonari Mori, Morichika Chosokari, uh, Takayoshi Murakami. He was a pirate, so I kind of thought that was cool. Kicho Shimazu. Okay, got to have some girl power. So um, um, I created Kicho Shimazu. Kicho was the one that married Nobunaga Oda, and uh, her daddy gave her a knife as a wedding gift <laughs> and wanted her to stick it in between Nobunaga uh, Oda's uh, ribs. Uh, it was kind of a forced marriage. In um, um, The Oda and, and Saito were, were basically enemies, but to, to, to basically end the hostilities, uh, uh, Papa Saito marries off his daughter Kicho to uh, Oda, Nobunaga Oda, hoping that, that she would take out the fool of Awari, and she ends up falling in love with him. <laughs> so, <laughs> lots of fun. So, that's officer editing. Now, I might as well get back to um, um, what's going on with the Shimazu, and uh, I have, uh, now it's time for me to to, to make a move like Sun Tzu would move. Now we're back at the um, um, Shimazu Blitzkrieg campaign. Now I um, um, am taking on two clans at once <coughs> with five different armies, and the map isn't quite big enough for me to show you all of them. I have Iyasu Shimazu sneaking down here to hit Kawano, Kawano, I've got Motochika Shimazu facing off here against Nagayoshi Miyoshi. And he's protecting Hakuchi. Okay. So now remember in the last uh, uh, episode, I was showing you how um, um, he's going to have a big advantage. Where is it? Right there. Um, He's got a patrol post. His defender battle condition is going to be up double. Um, and the terrain limit is 3,300 troops for me and 7,300 for the Miyoshi because of their uh, level 4 patrol post. So um, um, that's kind of like a suicide dive um, if I were to, to um, now send. Let us go. Motochika um, to Hakuchi because I would end up having to fight this guy in like three days. Okay. <laughs> Even though it doesn't, it would, as soon as I said it, it would just go ahead and trigger it. So I'm going to pull a Sun Tzu 
and don't attack the enemy where they are strongest, but where they're weakest. So what I'm going to do now is head my army off to Amagiri. Okay? So let's go ahead and start Follow marching. Me. And now that I've got um, um, this army moving, I've got probably two battles this turn. Okay? One here and one in front of us. And... Um, um, Let's just, oh yeah, turn that off. So now, uh, let's see how the Nagayoshi Miyoshi responds to Moto Chika running right by him. Okay, and then we're going to see, and then, so I think this might be the first battle. So let's see what happens. Does he try to cut me off at the pass? We hardly even broke a sweat. Oh, so Nobunaga has, uh, Captured castle, and don't want to execute anybody. You have my thanks. And now uh, let's go ahead and send him. Let us take steps. <laughs> Pichu Matsuyama, where this guy's army is like um, um, forming up, right? So he's um, boom. So we'll see how he responds now. Um, I'm thinking that he's going to keep the attack up. So let's just see where we're going here. Up. As now as you can see, he's got to defend that castle. Oh, smack dogs. The Miyoshi army is right before us. So let's see who... Uh, I've got the better leadership, of course, if I'm doing this manually. And if I did it auto-resolve, I'd still win the battle. So, let's take a look here. As you can see, um, the battlefield limit is basically um, a whole bunch. <laughs> so, he's got 35, 1,100 soldiers to start. I've got 25, too. Looks like it's uh, cloudy conditions. Okay, and uh, let's see what kind of stuff he's got. He's got uh, one musket unit of 3,700. And the rest are spear units. So he's not in too good a shape. You know, a couple of A's, a B, and four C's. While I have uh, a bunch of S's. And I also have uh, uh, nine units instead of... I will of, um, show you my skill. And of course, as you know, you if you've skill. watched this before... I go straight to lure provocation. I'm now looking uh, for the best unit to, to be my decoy unit. I want to draw them to, to, to that unit and let them slaughter them. Okay, so 112, 144. Well, we'll go this guy. Okay. Now, cavalry, hold on a second. Ooh, okay. I like that. So since there um, um, are no outposts either way, okay, I'm going to put my cavalry in back since they're the quickest and they can come up to the front line. Now, I don't need to be sitting around gaining more troops. Neither does he. So let's see. Um, and as you can see, I have one spear unit. So I'm going to put him here. Uh, I think I'm going to move this guy here and maybe go like that. Uh, oh, he's got rivers and stuff to cross. Okay. So I think that's what I'm going to do as far as my setup goes. So I've got... Um, my setup going to Battle of Kunida. There are many rice fields around this battlefield. The cavalry would not be able to move comfortably in battle. 
Okie doke. I don't need to, to, to move cavalry around um, very quickly in this uh, particular one. So, uh, no sense no in hesitating. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the leader off this way. Let's begin. So he's only crossing one river. I'm going to send command. this guy over here. And as you can see, by crossing rivers, uh, sometimes it, it, you, know, you really got to try to cross them. Um, Oops. Let's like begin. that. Okay. It it a perpendicular, so you're crossing less water. Okay. Please command me. Let's begin. Your command. Uh, he looks like he that cavalry unit was moving pretty quickly. Now let's move. And then let's just uh Let's begin. Okay. Please command me. Oh, that's going to be nasty. Let's begin. And then I'm probably going to have to try to cross and please get command me here. So, let's get him up oh, here. Oh, it's our turn already. And uh, let's get him. Prepare yourselves. Like that. As you can see, I leave my decoy unit alone. What I'm trying to do is Follow basically me. form up a line. And I like this aerial view so we can see how the, the, the guys are moving here. Okay. So, now we're going to go Your ahead command. and... Uh, Let's come across the Prepare river. Prepare yourselves. Your command. Right. Let's begin. And I think this guy's gonna move uh, kind of like, whoops, like that. Prepare yourselves. I want to try to cross that. I don't want to try crossing it uh, uh, straight up and down. That'll take a ton of time. Your commands. So now. Let's get him up. Let's begin. Now my decoy unit Please is moving because me. it can move up with my other guys Prepare in a yourselves. nice line. Please command me. He's coming up over here on this side of the river. Let's and begin. I'm sure that I'll have to cross him back across, but right now. Your command? So. Let's begin. Give me an order. Okay, and here's the spear guy. Now, let's move! Prepare yourselves. Okay. Now, let's see if I can't get uh, get up here and start whooping. I'll break open a big can of whoop ass. Musket whoop ass. I won't let you escape. Okay. And there's the leader back there. So um, now, let's see what we're doing over here. These guys are kind of hanging back. Please command me. So uh, let's, let's go ahead and start locking in on Please some targets command here, me. huh? Oh, it's our turn already. Let's begin. Yeah. Try to give him a better angle. I don't want him to be too uh, bunched up. Me. Ready yourselves. Your command. And he'll be covering the flank unit. Let's begin. Your command. Let's begin. And that's a cavalry unit. Please so command I me. Tell you what. Let's have a little fun. Let's begin. And gang bang this guy. Witness my plan. And we're gonna Prepare lock on to you and shoot muskets. Yes. Fire. Bang. 
give me an order. And he's a spear guy. Now, let's move. So let's get him to close in with that guy, gain a bit of a temporary advantage on this guy before the other guys close the in. And see about some pincer action over here. There's my lure Attack. provoke. And as you can see, I don't have any um, 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 outposts to worry about. Please command me. Okay, Let's so begin. they still look like they're trying to hide. Oh, I see. Now it's raining, of course. Your command. Right. Let's begin. Prepare Just as I, of course, as I get uh, uh, in his face. Okay. Your command. Guess what? Ready yourselves. Be that way. The decoy no unit. Uh, who is this guy? Oh, whoops. This guy. Is, there's the leader way back here, huh? So. I think I'm just going to leave him be and let them approach this guy, okay? Please While I work me. on these guys. Prepare yourselves. Give me an order. Let's get started. Let's begin. Please, command go, me. Let's, let's just begin. go straight at him now. Since he's trying to flank my guys. Okay. And you just never know how the weather's going to be. Release. Let me show you how stubborn I can be. <laughs> I see those victory cries. See, this is what I like about the victory cries, is that it helps me with the morale kind of early in the battle when you really need the, the morale help. So, let's still begin. raining, so let's just keep on top of them. Uh... What do you think of this? A death drive, huh? Hmm. Wow. That's a bit radical. <laughs> That's a bit radical. Let's just go ahead and uh, go after him. This guy, I think, is going back here. Let's begin. Uh, so he's not getting flanked. See, there's the little leader guy. And he's now flanking me. So, uh... The enemy will never anticipate this plan. Hamstring. Okay. The enemy will never anticipate now, let's just this keep plan. attacking. Now, uh... This guy Please here needs to go back Let's begin. and face off with this guy. Your command. Okay, now, that's good. Let's move. Your command? Let's begin. I'm going to reassign this guy over here to take on this guy so I can free this guy up to go after him so that I can uh, more freely deal with the leader guy. No command. And I might have to face off against uh, Prepare him because he's the greater threat right now. I've been waiting to share this with you. So let's see how this fares. Release! The time has come to decide this. Release! Ooh, look Here's at that. He's trying to get behind me now. So as you can see, the lure guy is kind of luring stuff to him. Now, this guy oh, needs to go this way. Now he's got a better clear shot over at the leader. Please come and he'll me. just keep working on this guy. No command? Your command. He's Ready about yourselves. ready to break. Your command. Let's begin. So let's keep on top. 
What does the decoy want to do? He wants to charge, uh, no, <laughs> and expose my flank and my behind to the enemy that I'm attacking? Nope. So what's he going to do? Uh, tactician? Uh, so my mobility goes down, my attack goes down. I don't think so. Your command? Let's begin. Let's just keep him. So he's going after Your that command. guy. Let's begin. The enemy will never anticipate this plan. Nope. Let's I need begin. to get that guy before I can get after him. Your command. Now, you let's just move. keep after the enemy. Please command me. Did you really think you could beat me? So. You gotta love that victory cry, man. That's keeping uh, my morale up. So he, his unit broke. And that was like 6,000 guys. Attack! There appears to be someone with a plan. So, whoops. Now. Please come in. He's just gonna Let's begin. keep after him. Please this command. makes it a lot more difficult having to do this it's in the rain. But sometimes that's just how the cookie crumbles. Now, I'm going to take this guy. Hmm. What do I want to send him up this way? Let's begin. Like that. Please command. And my main force will go yourself. after this guy. And kind of clear the uh, the 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 area. Now he's uh, just wearing off. Let's begin. The I enemy wonder what he wants to do. Hamstring, nah. The enemy will never just keep attacking. This and this guy is yeah, an going after him. Let's get started. Sometimes, boy, I mean, you get these units that will kind of get way out of the battlefield. Attack! I will gamble all of this strike. They just gotta love those victory cries. There appears to be someone with a plan. Your so command. now, let's see about getting after let's this begin. guy. Ah, he's coming to the rescue of the leader. Isn't that clever? Your clever boy. But I'm going to have to oh, go after him with that and let him take on the leader who's crumbling. Plan. Oh, yeah, cavalry. Crush Let's crush them, yeah. And then get this battle over with early. Yeah, my decoy unit's just about tearing him a, a new Your one. Man. Let's begin. Just keep after these Please guys. Constant pressure. Please command me. And look, this the is just more hamstring nonsense for tactician. Uh, I shall put in this intimidate Fugiyasu Yatagyo. Nah, I think I'm just going to go plan. with um, uh, straight old attacking. Uh-oh, somebody got broken. And the leader's just about ready to go, I think. Okay, so as you can see now, the morale bar uh, is starting to really uh, move in my way, so I won't be seeing the uh, victory cries so much. But I like seeing the broken units. And you can see how, boy, it, it the morale uh, uh, can change so quickly. You know, and, and you can see how close I am to victory. Please command me. And Let's I just begin. keep going after uh, your command. Oh, these guys. I wonder if this is going to be something like a cavalry. Good. Please command me. Your command. Ready Trying to sense. recover a little bit of morale. Witness my plan. Let's begin. Your command? Prepare yourselves. Let's begin. So, yeah, yeah, everything's looking good there. 
And this was the, the one guy, oh, there that, uh, okay, I had a plan. What is the plan? Dishearten? Yeah, let's do that. I will not lose to someone who is not prepared to die. And that's what we want right now is to get his morale. So there we go. All over. There we go. So he lost about 5,000 guys in the battle. My resolve can never be extinguished. And another about 15,000. And as you can see how the aggression level, I'm maxed out and he's uh, uh, losing aggression. So now that I've won that battle, guess what I could do? Let us go. Attack Hakuchi, of course. Follow me. <laughs> Backdoor man, okay? So I fought him where I wanted to fight him, where he would be kind of uh, weak. But now I want to get Hakuchi taken care of while there's basically no army uh, uh, to speak of uh, in my way. Let us see what's up here. We are, He's going to be here in four, four days to take on Takahisa Shimazu. So let's just go ahead and um, um, run clock and see if I can't get this battle um, um, taken care of pretty quickly. As you can see, Nobunaga's kind of coming back here. Okay. And let's go ahead and fight the battle. Okay. Oh, let's see. Yeah, Takahisa's fighting right here. And Nobunaga's going to clean up and grab uh, that castle, surround it uh, pretty quick. Hey, look at that. Masamune is talking about, um, 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 or Take, yeah, so we're going to do lure provocation. Uh, ooh, he's got two cavalry units, but one's only got 219 guys. So as you can see, um, um, the battlefield limits, uh, I can, we can deploy our full armies. So he's got two cavalry units. Uh, he's got uh, no muskets. Okay. So lure Leave provocation, but obviously it's the right plan. But let's see the wrong setup. I happen to have the um, outposts since I was besieging. So when I have that, the dumbest thing you could do is put the cavalry unit right there. Okay. So now, let us see who, who, who we want here. Okay, what's this guy? 163, one Okay, maybe that's the good guy. Oh, he's a pretty good. 143. So now, we need to uh, balance things out. Now, it can't just depend that these two big units will be sitting on, on this side of the map uh, when it starts. But since there's a little more clear terrain and stuff there, I think what I'm going to do is switch places with, like, that guy. And like that. Cause, uh, so, so he's got a lot of guys, but uh, there we go. So, that looks like that should take care of my uh, setup. And let's get into the battle. I want to try to finish this up so that the video isn't too long now. And I can finish up the turn. Okay. Please command me. Here we go. So, um, 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 since I do not have to worry about... Uh, I think let's just... I'm just going to go about like this. Prepare yourself. I don't need to Your go command. Let's be head hunting per se. Please command me. He'll come looking for me. Ready yourselves. Which is nice. Let's I think take steps. Leaders going this way since there's more Prepare clear yourselves. terrain that way. And Let I'm going to go this way. Please command me. Let's begin. Please command me. Whoops. Prepare yourselves. And uh, maybe move over a little here. And uh, Ready come yourselves. up that way. Please command me. Let's begin. 
Please command me. Ready yourselves. Spread my guys out a little bit. Now we'll see kind of like Let's what go. the oh. actual deployment is going to look like um, where the his big guys are after the next turn. We'll probably get an update on uh, a more accurate picture of the deployment. Well, it does look like that happened to be a pretty good picture. Okay. Let's so take now steps. let's just see. He's going to take the, the longest time to move up. Let's begin. So let's just uh, please command me. Get him about like Ready that. Ready yourselves. Your command. I'm just going to kind of uh, prepare yourselves. Please command me. Sit, sit out here. Prepare yourselves. Please command me. He has to come and attack me. Ready yourselves. So um, I'm going to let him kind of come to me. Please command me. Ready yourselves. Please command me. Ready yourselves. Prepare yourselves. Let us begin. Yeah, the AI always loves to uh, try to flank around to, to get uh, uh, around guys to get to the outpost. So now, as you can see, now we're getting a more accurate picture. So the, the, the big guys got split up. Okay. So now. Your command? Let's it's begin. Time to uh, Your lock and load. Lock and load. Your command? Let's begin. Oh, that's the leader. Wow. He's so, he is so Let's dope. take steps. Prepare yourselves. Okay, this looks like it's going to be a very short Please battle. Please command me. And let's draw him to me. Let's begin. Get some good angles. Okay. This Please is going to be fun. Me. So let's just sit back a little bit. Ready yourselves. Bring him up a little bit. Prepare yourselves. So he's doing kind of Let's like begin. a little two-unit uh, pincer move here. It looks like. Ready yourselves. And we'll kind of play defense over here while we go on offense on the left flank. We have located the enemy. <gasps> we see them. Okay, let's get up. So. There we go. Yeah, give me some of that outpost advice. Okay, looks like, yeah, he's trying to do kind of a flank attack. Okay. Now, Witness this guy plan. is obviously Prepare walking on him. I'm going to do the musket. Fire! He is just going to go right after the leader. Your command. Me. Ready going yourselves. Going after the leader. Let's take steps. And me. The main force. Let's begin. Yeah, going after the leader. Let us. Uh, Your command. Let us go after. Let's begin. Him. Now. Please command this me. This looks like fun. Let us begin. Your command. So here he's trying to, Prepare he's now going to try to flank me. Uh, I think what me. I'll do is I'll send this guy on an inside line. Let us begin. Your command. Ready and yourselves. search him out. So, let's see how this works. Okay. And you can see when you lock on an enemy unit and you, you can see the enemy unit moving, the, 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 uh, your unit will, like, track him. Okay, so what do we have here? I think I had better, uh, well, 
I think that they're focused on this big guy here. Okay. Now he hopefully says musket. Yep. Your command. He's just going to keep after him. He's just going to. How about a musket? I like that. Yeah. So little a uh, little guy uh, to flank, but I'm not going to worry about it. Muskets, Fire. I want to work on this guy right here that's kind of going at flanking my guy. Your command. Okay. Let us begin. So, Let he's probably going to do some muskets. I Fire. like it. Keep on top of that guy. Please command me. Let's, Let's begin. get him in range. Your command. Let's begin. And let's see if we can't. Uh, see, that's a cavalry unit. Yeah. So let's see if we can't catch up to this guy here. And I'll head around the front to try to cut him off with the pass. We've located the enemy. We cry. See, here's a guy. He now he's running for the outpost, but it'll be a little too little, too late. Witness my plan. So what I'm going to do is muskets is on that guy. Boy, he's a goner. And he's going to be moving out of the uh, my plan. field of fire. But why don't I just keep fire. shooting at him just to, to be a mean guy? And Your command. Let's he's going to go up that way. I have a plan. He's going. Oh, red I cavalry. Have. So yeah, that's going to be a nice cavalry charge. Will you hear my plan? Pursuit. Yep, let's, uh, let's get after that guy. Just really trash the leader. I guess now what it's going to be is, uh, what do I want to do? Muskets on the leader. I have a plan. Let's begin. And let's muskets on the leader. Fire! And we'll end this battle pretty quick now. Please command me. Let us begin. And we'll get a flank attack going Let here. This is probably going to do some muskets. Witness my plan. He's attacking Prepare this guy yourself. on the flank now. Muskets. Fire. And Please he command. is just uh Cavalry guy seven. going after this big guy here. So, let's see how this works. My uh, morale meter looks like it's nice and blue and, and moving. Okay, Victor is within our draft. He's lost another broken guy. Steadily gaining the advantage. Okay. Oh. oh, wow. I mean, that's, that's basically just about, you know, game over right there. So he's just going to go that way. Would he be doing muskets that way? Yes, he would. So good. But... So here he's just gonna my plan. do muskets Fire. on that guy. Your this guy is going Ready after yourself. him. You my plan? Main forces pursuit going after him. Your command. And this guy is uh, going to keep after the leader. Your command. Okay. Your command. 
Prepare Let's yourselves. Keep attacking. Let me show you my plan. Let me show you my plan. No, oh, or let's let just really enrage. Plan. Will he enrage the other guy? So you I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. Take steps. Let me show you my plan. Ready and yourself. he's probably going to do muskets. Good plan. Fire. So, I probably didn't even need to set any orders because as you can see, uh, the see battle the is basically won. Okay. So I won the um, the second Everyone, battle. That was a masterful battle. Okay, and I get a captive out of the deal. You have my thanks. Okay, so now let's see. Um, that castle's almost uh, being grabbed, and he's almost at that castle. And uh, as you can see, now he's coming up on Bichu Matsuyama. So um, um, let me just end the. Uh, uh, I'm going to kind of run through and, and uh, no take a couple us. castles and just go ahead and uh, move this now guy here. Time. But uh, I'm not going to go through the quarter end. Uh, this video is starting to run a, a little long. So I, uh, I, I think that uh, uh, we've already done quarter ends and stuff like that. And I'll do the policies. And uh, let's just see if I capture any more castles. Surround Dr. Diesel looks pretty good. Ah. Uh. Well, I'm going to end it here. Obviously, uh, 23,000 to, 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 to um, 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 3,800 army. Yes, I am going to gonna win that battle. Um, and uh, I, this is what I, I kind of didn't want to see was a third battle because I just don't have time to toy with this nonsense. So I'm going to end the, the turn right here in the video right here. And yeah, I'm going to, my 23,000 will beat his 3,800, no problem. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will be back next time, and I will try to start off with something, um, you know, maybe show a few more features and stuff while I continue the campaign.